Welcome to ACE Translator 3000, the single, easy-to-use, intuitive conversion tool that gives you over 100 translators built into one simple tool. Let me first show you how to use ACE Translator. It's pretty much as simple as following along an easy-to-use wizard format, where you select the import format that you wish to import. And as you see here, there's a wide variety of both CAD and EVA formats. And then you simply choose the format you wish to export as. So in this particular case here, I'll just select the PostScript file that I want to have outputted as Gerber. So you simply select PostScript and for the export, select Gerber. Next, select the specific PostScript file that I wish to convert. Here you have the review of the import options. Review the export options and click Next. All that happens now is that ACE is able to import in the design directly inside. And now what it gives you is a nice preview window. The cells that are a part of the design, cells are basically like blocks if you're familiar with AutoCAD uh, or inserts if you're familiar with GDS2, or I guess cells too. And then you also have your layers to export. So you have all the various layers that would be required to export. What makes ACE extremely nice is besides just being a preview window, I can click on here or up at the tab in this area. And now I'm inside a full featured editor and viewer where I'm able to view any objects. I can select them. I can go ahead and make any types of changes that I wish to. Say for instance here, if I wish to uh, change the corner, you just simply drag it like you would do with any type of CAD tool. And I can make any changes here. A full array of editing tools are all available at your disposal. There's no other conversion tool out there that has all this type of power and capability. In addition, when I'm ready to convert, simply sit back here. I have the ability to even clip an area if there's a specific area that I'm focused in on converting. And just like that, now only that will be exported. So let me go ahead and select Next to export out the Gerber file that I had chosen. Choose whatever folder you want, press OK, and it's that easy. So I was able to, with just essentially four steps, be able to convert any file with ACE uh, from one format to the next. In this case, I took the PostScript, select the file, verify import, verify export options, verify your layers, and press Save. So let's go ahead and show the extra power of ACE is we'll go ahead and restart it again. And now I'll select another format. Let's say in this case, I wanna bring in a GDS2 file used for IT and uh, uh, MEMS designs. And let's say in this case, I wanna be able to convert a GDS2 file to an AutoCAD DXF file. It's as simple again as selecting next, choosing the location of my particular file. In this case is GDS2. There's very limited options here for GDS2 import. Here's all the various options you have for DXF export. Again, select next. There's my GDS2 file. As you'll see here in this case, now there's a bunch of cells that are all uh, situated here. So if I wanted to, let's say, just work on one cell, I could select that. And this is the data that's in that particular cell. Or I could select the parent cell in which ACE always finds for you. And again, here are the layers. And it's the same thing. Click on here if I wish to view within a viewer just to make sure everything looks fine. But let's go ahead and export this out now to DXF. It's as easy again as selecting Next, choosing my DXF file, and pressing Save. Just like that, you're able to export out a DXF file. The advantage of ACE Translator is that it keeps it simple for anyone to be able to easily convert from various formats to another. Now, as most engineers will say, this is not something you have to deal with on a daily basis, but it sure comes in handy to have a tool like this in-house that you're able to use to convert any type of files that you need to from one format to the other and keeping it simple. And that's Ace Translator. Thank you very much.